how are you today i hope you're all okay i wanted to show you um a change in my nursery it's a work in progress but i wanted to show you how far i've got as you can see i have got my cot down from the attic and it has got some tubs underneath with baby clothes in and i've got most of my babies are all sitting in the cot here there's jessica and joseph and dougie and my sweet jenny little christopher robin and my gorgeous baby girl helena and there's my gorgeous quilt thank you so much for that lucy i love it i've got my little shelf up on the wall here with all my lovely little hanging things that you all sent me my joy bubble and my lovely elephant and my peter rabbit and my beautiful little red bird and we've got my peter rabbit um bottle i couldn't think of the word on my shelf that i bought and in the corner i've got my two stacks of um, shelves with some lovely little bits and pieces on and of course I've got find happiness in the little things on my little butterfly there lots of lovely things that people have sent me on the shelves and my little dolls that I bought and my mugs and cards and my huggies my postcards I haven't got a thing for them yet the lovely bag that Lucy sent me is full of toys and the reason that I've got my cot down is because we bought a single bed for the room and got rid of that large double bed so you can see I've got a nice big space now and there's a lovely single bed here and on the wall and my ABC Peter Rabbit quilts make beautiful and on the bed is Phoebe and she's playing with her foot by the looks of it I've got a nice big space between the wardrobe now and the single bed has two drawers underneath it for baby clothes and I think that all looks lovely I've yet to finish I've got some other things I want to do got my lovely Peter Rabbit shoe holder up and I think it's starting to look more like a nursery and I love and there's the babies there's the twins in their carry cot and my Lula Bell and there's this cheeky little monkey we're going to change her in a minute playing with her leg playing with her foot and yeah I hope you like how the nursery is coming on and like I say it's I've got my top this cot has actually been in the attic for eight years but uh, yeah it's looking good so I'll pause you now so I can put it back on oh, there here we are again and I'm going to be changing Phoebe today aren't I Phoebe we're going to be changing you today you've been playing with this foot have you She's a sweetie, isn't she? What have you done with your nappy? It's all come undone. Has it come done? Let's have a look. I must put a cotton one on her, actually, but it's looking a bit loose there, missus. I think she's been wriggling about a lot in this, haven't you? Have you been wriggling about? I think you have. Well, oh, I can't do it up now. There we go. Right, so we're going to change this little cheeky girl today. And I wanted to show you something that I didn't realise in her box opening. You're still seeing her all right. Let me have a look. I think you are, yeah. Just lighten you up a bit. There was a, a white envelope and it had written on the front, just for fun. And when I looked in it, there was this white bow 
with a little tuft of hair. And if you get it near her head, <laughs> she's got a little curl on the top of her head. Isn't that cute? Because Phoebe was going to be fully rooted. But in the end, it wasn't possible to do that. So Suzanne just gave me this little, little curl to put on the top, which I think is adorable. Isn't it lovely? So I have to keep hold of that so I don't lose it. And today I'm going to change her for the first time and I'm going to put her into this absolutely beautiful dress that Suzanne sent with her, which is this pale pink with little butterfly sleeves or angel wings. And it's got three layers of tulle in cream and deep pink and pale pink with white spots on. And it's got four little roses in chalk on the front. It's really pretty. And I thought I'd put this lovely crocheted um, cream dress, uh, dress, cream cardigan with pearl buttons and pink edging. And a little crocheted bonnet to match with little pink roses on. And the little crocheted shoes with the pink roses on as well but first I'm going to have to put a onesie on her I think so young lady let's get you out of this pretty sleeper that you came home in thank you so much everybody for all your lovely comments on her box opening video I really appreciate them you know I do and um she was a long time coming, this baby, weren't you? Yes, you were. You were a bit of a problem. Yes, yeah, a problem, baby. But we got her in the end, didn't we? Yes, we did, after Suzanne in Australia was so poorly after that accident. But we seem to be all right now. Don't we? You're here now. There she is. I'm just checking the view. I'm trying to give you a little bit of a different view today. Let's take this little wrap over vest off you. Yeah, I've been busy tidying the drawers and putting things into those tubs under the cot. And it's lovely that I've got my cot down again. Here you go, sweetie. Up you come. There he is. There she is. Where's your little donkey? Where's this little donkey? It's a cute little donkey, isn't it? Yeah, I've been doing bits and pieces. I'm, there's some other things I want to do yet. But, you know, we're nearly there. Here you go, sweet. Let's put this just a plain white body on you. And it's got... Um, no sleeves in it so it should be perfect under this little dress there we go there we go cheeky there we go cheeky up we come up we come went to see that film hereditary on thursday and i was quite proud of myself i actually managed to watch it all I didn't think I'd be able to, but I did. And it was quite um, disturbing, more than scary. You know, it 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 was all right. You know, I was I was okay. I and I enjoyed it. I didn't quite get what was going on at the end of it, but. We had a chat about it, me and Conrad, on the way home. And he explained a few things to me. And then all of a sudden I could, you know, kind of see what he was saying. Because other things came as view. But I think it's one of those films you'd have to see a couple of times. There you go, little Miss Cheeky. That's it. There she is. There she is, Cheeky Girl. Cheeky Girl. Um, yeah, see a couple of times to kind of work out what's going on in it because it doesn't kind of spoon, spoon feed you. But yeah, I was quite proud of myself that I watched it, you know. 
Oh, there's a little onesie underneath this. I didn't realise that. I thought it was, I thought it was just a dress, but it's actually got a onesie bottom underneath it. Can you see that? Right, let's pop this over your head. So yeah, I had a lovely ice cream as I always do. I had the same as I had to go and see Jurassic actually. I had the um, chocolate, vanilla and caramel. That was really nice. Look at all this jewel everywhere. Isn't it a beautiful dress? It's a beautiful dress, Phoebe. Yeah. There we go. Up you come. Let's pull this down. Where is she? She's hidden. She's hidden. Yes, she is. Where's that pretty face? Yeah, so enjoyed going to see that anyway. I always enjoy spending time with my son, as you know, and he goes back to work on Monday. He's had the week off. So it's been nice to have him home for a week. We've done quite a few things. I always enjoy spending time with him. There we go. That's done up. <laughs> it's going to be pretty. Come on, sweetheart. Let's turn you over. There we go. There we go. Let's do the back of your dress up. That's it. Actually, my son Conrad and his friend Dan have started a... Uh, what's it called? Um, oh, I can't remember what they're called now. Um, where they chat about things. What's it called? Come on, it. Come back in a minute. Um, rather than a, a video, it's "Have you come, darling?" That fits you nicely, doesn't it? Yeah, they're doing this. Um, thing that you listen to I can't remember what they're called you'll be able to tell me um, where they talk about film old films and it's called movie oubliette if anybody fancies going across and watching it well listening to it what is it called when you listen to something rather than watch it I can't remember he did say to me but I can't remember look at that beautiful dress on her Let's lighten you up a little bit. Can you see that? Yes, you can. Just checking. Yeah, he um, they've um, they talk about films and decide whether it's a good film or a bad film, and um, they. Uh, discuss it and that and they're quite funny I've listened to some of them and they're really funny let's put your little cardigan on darling because it's quite chilly here today and I thought it'd be a good you know be good to um, put a little cardigan on her of course Phoebe is the phoenix sculpt let me get so she's a smiling baby which you know I like There we go. That's going to annoy me now that I can't remember what that's called. When you just talk rather than what I'm doing. There we go, sweetie. Should we just do the top button up? I expect you're all shouting at the screen because you know what I mean. There we go. I can't see where the hole is for that. Mind you, it's holy all over, isn't it? Let's just pop it through there. There we go. Let's pull him down at the back, sweetie. There he is. There. There she is. What a pretty girl. Aren't you? Let's pop this on. A little hat. Yeah, so if you fancy listening to them, they are very funny. His friend Dan comes from Australia. And it's called Movie Oubliette. There you go, 
Hello, darling. That looks very cute on you, doesn't it? Very cute. Yeah. Let's get your little shoes on. It's a very pretty little set, isn't it? You look like you're dressed up for a party. We won't be going to the cinema this weekend because there isn't anything on that we haven't already seen. It's all Jurassic and Hereditary. So, and next weekend, it looks like my sister might come up and see me, which I'm really looking forward to. Haven't seen her since before Christmas. So that would be nice to see her with my niece and nephew. There we go. Oh, they're very cute on you, darling. So there she is, my cute little baby. Isn't she sweet? Let's just bring you around so that you can see. There she is in her very posh dress and her little shoes. She was from B, isn't she? She is a little beauty. Yeah. <laughs> isn't that a gorgeous dress? And it fits her beautifully, as does the little set. There you go, darling. She has got some very pretty dummies. Let me show you those. She's got a magnetic one, which is a pale pink. Which fits on her mouth beautifully. And she's got one that's see-through with little the outlines of deep pink flowers. And that's a cut-off dummy. Because she has got an open mouth. And that goes in really nicely too. So they're great, aren't they? Not that we want to cover her little mouth. What I will do is I'll put her... I'll put a little hair piece in with those so I don't lose it. There we go, sweetheart. Do you want your little donkey? There it is. So what do you think of her in that? Doesn't she look adorable? I think she looks beautiful in that. I couldn't wait to put that on her. That's, you know, my type of thing. I love anything kind of girly. Are you going to hold it? She said she wants to hold it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed looking up my new nursery and how I've done it now. Um, we're nearly there. We're, you know, I've got a lot of things done, but a few more things to do. And I hope you've enjoyed seeing little Phoebe have her first change. You all take care. Say, Mwah. bye bye, everybody. Bye bye, Mummy Suzanne in Australia. Mwah. Mwah. Love you ladies and gentlemen.